The eight-year assault on your Second Amendment freedoms has come to a crashing end. to go home now. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. But go home and go home in peace. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. You do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. got tony and chowder pouch demanding links y'all have some stuff to say i haven't even started like the intro was still going on bro <laughs> i like to do my little thing wait until everybody gets in here you know how it goes i don't know how long i'll be on tonight but let me know what you guys got to talk about before i get into the things that are in the news for for me anyway i mean i don't know what's all going on this is kind of still a little bit of the catch up and other things. So this morning we were doing the morning muster over on Irish USMC Vet's channel. If you don't know about Irish USMC Vet, he's a very good friend of mine. And uh, we do a little morning show where he, you know, he does a morning show and he, he lets me be part of it. So I, I enjoy doing that. And uh, this morning we had a guest on there who I've gotten into a few debates over cop issues. 
whether there are such a thing as a good police officer. Now, about a year and a half ago, I would say, I was on the morning muster, like I am even to this day, and I have an opinion about police, like most people have an opinion about things, right? And not always is it a, a popular opinion. So my opinion, and I'll just retouch it, is that there's no such good, uh, no such thing as a good police officer. That the only good police officer is an ex-police officer. And the reason for that is because a, uh, <laughs> dude, Tony, <laughs> I can link you up. You can sit in the waiting room if you want. I mean, I don't know. I ain't playing out, you know, I haven't even started, bro. I haven't even started. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, the only good thing, the only good cop is the next cop. Is how I put it. The only good cop is an ex-cop. That's my opinion. And I explained why. Now, I didn't do it in, in a good way, right? I was probably showmanshipping it up a little bit, obviously. You know, a little, uh, little righteous indignation. But I still stand with that point. I don't completely agree with it anymore because, I mean, there are small towns out there, right? I'll I'll take some of that back and say mm, maybe in the more bigger cities or at least decent sized cities some of these small towns yeah I think there's good cops okay but as far as the cities go I still stand by the only good cop is an ex cop because the only good cop being an ex cop says that they turned on one of their bad cops there's no way a cop can be a cop for any length of time in a big city without seeing another fellow cop doing something shady. If that cop doesn't then report his fellow officer for doing some shady shit, he's just as bad as his shady shit partner or fellow officer, therefore making him a bad cop. And if he does turn him in, usually, nine, 99 times out of 100, I would imagine, I'm guessing, that cop gets let go. Meaning, he's an ex-cop. Well, this person did not agree with me. <laughs> did not agree with me in the least. He's what I like to call trying to be YouTube famous. He's doing all the right things. He's taking all the notes from the bigger channels out there. And he's definitely planning on it. He, he's trying. All right. But the funny thing is, is he's a, he's kind of a prepping channel. He doesn't have prepper in his name. But uh, he's kind of a prepping channel, but it. It's like, hey, Siri, give me the top 10 prepping tips and then doing a video on what Siri tells you, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's, you mean I can take a five-gallon bucket, paint it black, put a toilet seat on it, and use it as a shitter? What? I did not know that. You mean if I set up cameras on my house, I should have one on every corner facing and so that it covers the entire property? I did not know that. Interesting. Audio is low. You are right. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is a dragon chat. Just give me a second, Tony. You got something to say. Just just give me a second. First of all, I want to tell everybody I'm going to be turning up my volume. Okay, so please turn my volume down. Um As soon as I can get in there. Come on, bro. Don't do this shit to me. All right, give me a second. Okay, turning up the volume. All right. Hopefully you adjusted your volumes. I'll try not to talk too loud, just in case you didn't. All right. 
I had stories to talk about, man. All right. If you're coming in, if you're coming in, there are certain stories that I would like to talk about. I want to talk about... Mm, oops, that was wrong. I want to talk about Lynn Wood changing sides. I want to talk about the CDC's alarming grab, the TSA role with new airport surveillance. Trump is filing a counter lawsuit against Gene Carroll. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't have to read that one, or we don't have to talk about that one. Alleged DOJ informants face scrutiny for a role in stoking January 6th. Interesting, not necessary. Governor AG sued Defense Department over the requirement of you know what. It's kind of cool. Oklahoma Republican governor is uh, because the National Guard, I guess, had to get the shot. And he's like, nope. I don't know if they did or not. NC nonprofit aims, North Carolina nonprofit aims to take forensic approach to exposing potential misdoings. Interesting. I wonder how uh, much backing that has because the guy in the photo... Looks like he's on a fake background, so I don't know. DeSantis is proposing reestablishing Florida civil militia. I know that's a hot topic right now. Oh, I got that one twice. Screw that. And then Baldwin. Baldwin says now that he did not pull the trigger. Thank you, ZBD. Survival. Thank you very much for that. All right. So, y'all want links. Let's get her over with. Just give me a second. I got to... I forgot, I wasn't even ready to do links. But Tony wants a link. Look at y'all link. There we go. There's your link. What did I do? Did I just click the dang link myself? I might have. <laughs> like, why do I have another StreamYard open? All right, cool. Oh, we had a big drop off. Look at that. It was all going up, 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 up. And then boom, right at 7.06. You all still here though, right? Glad the volume sounds good. Well, until you all come in, I guess I will go ahead and read one of these stories. Oh, Gerald B's in already. Uh, let's see. <laughs> hey, Gerald B. Whoa, hold up. There we go. That works. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What up, Tone? Yeah, I can hear you good. <laughs> What's going on in Tony's world? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, how many deer seasons are there? And can how, how long in the year? I mean, if you did every one of them, how many could you get? Mm-hmm. 
right? Yeah, because everybody's going to be doing it then. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> as northeast as you can go <laughs> and still be hmm. yeah I guess so <laughs> right hmm. what's that in your tactical little hat mm -hmm, yeah look like you Oh, okay, so they actually designed it for that. That's cool. Right on. You still get into that? Oh, you got kids still, right? Living at home? Right. Yeah, that's cool, man. I haven't done Christmas in probably three years. Hold on, I can... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Sorry, everybody. I think the reason why his volume was low is because I had it turned down. My apologies, everybody. Hopefully you heard Tony. Tony is getting ready for the Christmas time, decorating and getting his sweater whiskey. <laughs> yeah. well plus we uh we won't we we go on vacation for christmas so kids will be uh we won't, won't nobody will everybody will be on the road let's just say that so our, true, our huh? christmas instead of being in what three weeks is more like in two weeks nice if that so well if you get close man hit me up Oh man, I'm going south for the winter, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, I am south, but just really far west. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't think I'll. I'll probably never go. I don't. I'd have to think of the circumstances that I'd ever go back to the west. I just, <laughs> dude, I should have came out here. I should have came out here years ago. I mean, everything is all for a reason, but still, dude, this place. Yeah. You're there places now. Where it's at. You're there now. Yeah, and ain't nobody following me down here. I mean, there's there's some folks coming from north of here starting to move in. I mean, I don't know. This town's so tiny that you know it's just nobody's coming here. Maybe a couple folks, but um, it's not like the more popular places people are moving. Like, I'd I'd love to go to Florida, dude. Florida is where it's at. Yeah. You know, you're talking about freedom and just balls out, balls to the wall. You're talking about ball sweat. That's what you're talking about in Florida. You got swamp ass over there. What you yeah. I don't know. yeah, but I mean, you got, uh, that's why them fools wear uh, fucking flip flops and bathing suits and the girls all wear fucking G strings, you know? See, for me, <laughs> for me, <laughs> for me, Arizona would be perfect to stay in. I mean, it's, uh, it's recreational, it's, it's constitutional carry. It's perfect, but I'm wanting to get closer to family and friends, and that's going to be Texas Dude, most likely for me. I try to tell folks, man, it, you got to 
you got to think just even a couple years down the road, the whole, the West, it, I mean, it's done. The, the, the left has infiltrated every piece right. of, of what's out West and, uh, you know, cause then my move, my move would have been easier. I just would have went to the, but, you know, I would have went to a different state that's cool. out West. But exactly for me. I couldn't I find that out West. Man, it, you got to hey, you got to you gotta mute your oh, stream or something. It's getting a lot of feedback. Oh, oh. West, it, I mean, it's done. The, the the left has infiltrated every piece of, of what's out west. There you go. I just muted him. You you can unmute when you I get that figured out. I couldn't find my It's like here in Maine. Was it Jerry? Nobody wants to, nobody wants to come up here because it's too damn cold. Yeah. Yeah, there and there's you know everywhere is oh, everywhere shit. is kind of had it, but the the South is I think the South is still just as rebellious as they ever were, you know. And I don't know the spirit down here is like fucking. Oh, you I, know, I agree. Free Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> When I went to Tennessee for a few months, man, that that was the people there. Like they still run and shine, like the good old days. Like it's been in their families for generations and shit. It's like, not to mention being in the Appalachian Mountains got to help. But there you Cheers. go. Cheers. It's luck. a bar. Someone, someone's yeah. got to. Yeah. Well, of mine's on the way. <laughs> out of everywhere I've been in the country, the friendliest people that I've met are generally the ones from way northern Penobscot and, uh, and up in Aroostook County, Maine. Hmm. They're usually the friendliest people huh? I've met. Hmm. Hell, we, I went to uh, Kansas City with a buddy of mine, then coming back we had to pick up a load in St. Louis to bring it bring it back up this way and I think I the area that we were in the St. Louis kind of unrolled the window and asked the guy where some street was and the guy looks <laughs> at us he goes you white boys is in the wrong part of town so now every time I see my buddy Billy he goes hey you want to go to St. Louis I says no problem can I bring my shotgun this time <laughs> Yeah, fuck St. Louis. That's that's a shithole, man. It's it's uh I know a bunch of people from up there too, you know, and it's just I ask them like, dude, like regular people live up there and they do, but they live out in the suburbs. <laughs> what up, Chowder Pouch? What up? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. What up, Mario? Yo, what up, Tony, man? Long time no his. <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, you know, the usual, drinking beers, blood. I got Still working beer. at uh, Sherman Williams. Nah, man, I quit that shit. Tony's playing Candy Crush over here. <laughs> that ain't me. Oh. That ain't me. I'm playing with my cigar. Oh, okay. It ain't me. My, my wife's upstairs playing one of those games so. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> on her phone. So it ain't that loud. She's got it muted. <laughs> it's the mysterious Candy Crush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or whatever it is. I have no idea. <laughs> any guys, anybody have anything good for the weekend? I'm going to a gun show tomorrow. I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> I got plans, but I did not say anything for maybe a month. Other <laughs> guns be in the safe collecting dust, man. They're dusty. Mm. I'm like on the, the International Space Station. It, there's a delay in my feed coming through. People will find out like three weeks after I, I'm home. Mm. <laughs> what? They got to put it through the YouTube algorithm a couple times, make sure it's not anything inappropriate before they send it out, I guess. <clears throat> well, I guess it's, well, it is cooling out and the wind's pretty strong tonight. 
They say it's supposed to get down into the teens. Fuck that. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be back up into the high 20s, low 30s. The teens. It's freaking yeah. December, barely December. It, it was know, 50 John. last week. Hell, yeah. it, was 50, it was 49 three days ago. Well, it was 80 today. <laughs> Here. Well, at 2 o'clock this morning, it was 47. It was 80 here yesterday, yeah. and then uh, we're supposed to be like in the we, 40s. We won't, we won't see 80 again here till <laughs> the end of May, 1st of June. Wow. Dude, in June, it's already like 105. We get about a week in July. <laughs> What's that? Where, uh, sometimes we get like Lana? two weeks where the temperatures will be in the high 90s. Habu Special, Tabak Special. Was that Cubano? No, I do got a Cuban though. In yeah. The, in the... I got this a couple. Is, uh... These were recommended to me by, uh, by uh, well, Four Drums <laughs> Network or Rebel. Nicaragua, Nicaragua, I can't say it. Yo, that's a good cigar, man. Nic Nicaragua has got good cigars. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's sweet. Have you, any of you heard of Monte Crisco? I got Maine Green Bud. Monte Crisco? Yeah. yeah Monte, Monte Crisco, Crisco, the white. Yeah. White Monte, Monte Crisco been around for a while. Yeah. Well, Reb told me to hit these up for a celebration cigar thing, you know, so I got a couple of these in my packs and shit. This one I've been smoking you're on. Talking when you, you're talking about when you defeat the aliens or when? I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm keeping that, I'm keeping that open. Garcia Vegas. Garcia Vegas are good. I like Garcia Vegas. I almost bought a Garcia Vega today, and then I seen this puppy right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hold up. I forgot to be doing this chat. Hold on. We have ZPD Survival in here talking about Baldwin didn't pull the trigger, a self-firing bullet. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Yeah. Also said Merry Christmas, so Merry Christmas back to you, Survival. Baldwin would never point a gun at somebody and pull the trigger. Mm -mm. He didn't do that. Well, who pulled the hammer back? out of his fucking mind, bro. Who pulled, who, who pulled the hammer back on that gun? It was a damn single-action revolver. <laughs> he did. He's pull the hammer back. back he he just... the trigger. He's the ultimate scumbag. He always has been. He yeah. always will be. And him and fucking Stephanopoulos, two of the biggest scumbags yeah. walking the walking the planet. He, he's guilty as fuck, and nobody wants to do anything about it because he's anti-gun. Nah, man, he's trying. He's trying to skeet skeet on a murder rap. Yep. Or at least a negligent uh, homicide or a manslaughter charge. I mean, you. You're the producer of the movie. The but you're the one that hires everybody. So yeah, it might have been the prop person, but guess who hired that prop person? Alec Baldwin. Can you imagine him trying to to blame it on the fucking prop person? Right. Well, that, to blame it on the guy. that fool's just a scumbag. He's probably a fucking devil worshiper. He had to fucking make a sacrifice. He's a piece of shit. I don't believe shit he says. Mm -hmm. he's, no, man. He's, he's, he's trying to blame it on the damn gun. The gun, he, the gun pointed the itself at them and shot them. He didn't pull he's, the hammer back or touch the trigger. He would never do that. He's facing at least three years in jail, and he's trying to skeet skeet out of it. Oh, yeah. How does he even? How does he even get to come out and talk about it when the? I mean, is I thought the investigation wasn't even done. It's not. Nope. So how does he get to come out? If well, any of us well, maybe, came out, maybe they'll get to use that as evidence against him. Exactly. They, that's that's like if Rittenhouse, was, he he has given up his Fifth Amendment. Right. He has a Fifth Amendment, and he's too stupid to use it. Yep. And it's gonna bite him in the ass because he's gonna be contradicting himself a shit. I mean, a ton. It, well, he's trying to say the gun just went off. Uh -huh. Well, all I'm saying it's gonna be sitting there. The whole time of the court, and knowing the prosecutor, if he's smart, he'll pull the hammer back and leave it sitting there on the table with the hammer pulled back. Yeah, and just wait. Hey, it never accidentally went off. What's going on? Drop Listen, it a few he, times. Yeah. 
he stated that he would never point a gun yep. at a person. <laughs> Guess what the fuck he just did? Yeah. No, the gun pointed itself. It's <laughs> exactly. Like, back it's itself like, and it's like that really SUV crazy. drove through that crowd, right? And they and they want and to think they want to make more driving cars. Just think, Rittenhouse didn't have to <laughs> yeah. shoot nobody. His gun would have probably done it all for him. Yeah. He said he stated that he never pointed a a gun at a human being, and that's obviously that's bullshit because yeah. he obviously pointed that gun at the camera woman, and he fucking blew her well, away. Even yeah. even oh, even that's if. Why? Well, even if you take that part out of it, I mean, he's been on camera in movies pointing a gun at people. Obviously, that's his job. But I mean, you, unless you're unless you're assuming that he's only talking in his personal life, you know, and not in movies, because I mean, this was a movie. What's and the just like any other movie where you would have had a gun and you would have pointed it at somebody. What's What's the difference between pointing a gun in a movie and? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I have pretty basic gun training. <laughs> and pointing a gun in a movie scene and pointing a gun in real life, it's you're still pointing a fucking gun. Well, yeah, if he's never uh, pointed a gun at somebody, I mean, he's referencing that into real life. But this was on a set on a movie, and he's done that many a time on a movie before. Maybe it should have been him that checked it, you know, to make sure it was clear as well. Or well, maybe like asked, why do you need to have me point this at you for an off-camera shot? I mean... <laughs> once well, again, once again, I'm a newbie at this shit, but I'm... The number one rule in handling a gun is always assume that it's fucking loaded. Yeah. Like, that's number one rule in, like, handling a... Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a noob. I'm a I'm a newbie. Like always assume that it's just, a just remember yeah. that fool's an actor. Well, Don't if, ever forget if, that. If, <laughs> any yep. followed, if any of them would have followed protocol, none of this would have happened. But one who's thing playing, who's who's playing Sonic? Happen, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. We just finally solved the mystery. That's that's all I gave a shit about. Keep it on. I don't I don't mind it. It's just Yeah, my kid my kid's playing Sonic the Hedgehog. No, I was blame <laughs> I was blaming Tony originally, then I went after Gerald. It was chowder the whole damn time. Or... <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, he's 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 rocking to it. Nice. He just got a he just got a one up. <laughs> he went up. Well, they say basic protocol on a movie with a revolver is you haul the hammer back, pointing at the ground, and you fire it six times before you even start the scene. And then the person that's, the person that's going to use it, he's supposed to do the same damn thing with it. So that's 12 times that gun that was ever even pointed at the camera. All right. Yeah, he, he, he smoked her, man. He smoked her. Oh, yeah. He's definitely guilty of it, at least negligence. Yeah, and when it first even when it first hit the news, I was like, well, what a convenient way to take somebody out and get away with it by claiming it was an accident. Like, what other yeah. industry can you point a gun at somebody, pull the trigger and shoot them and say it was a mistake? and And possibly not face any jail time for. Acting yeah. is the only way you can do that and get in there, man. I, I I just think it smelled fishy to me from the get. Hopefully, where it's an ongoing investigation, maybe they will bring up some charges pretty soon. He must be sweating. He's talking a lot more, trying to act his way out of it. Well, the Michigan shooter's parents went into fucking hiding. The cops are trying to find him. Do we know if he's what? white? Oh, the, the yeah, there was talking a school shooting. Yeah, the parent and the parents of the shooter went into the school in no, hiding. The went into hiding. They just the district attorney there just decided to charge them both with involuntary manslaughter for allowing the kid to have access to the gun and ammunition. Do we know the race of the kid yet? He's white. <laughs> Damn it! 
<laughs> anything but white. Anything but white. Fuck. And and you know what? And the like, car that bought the SIG last week. Oh my god. Straw a straw purchase. Dude, straw purchases is, is gonna fuck us gun owners, man. The straw the straw purchases. Yeah, I don't they, think it was a straw purchase. Because uh, sounds like it to me, man. Sounds like it to me. They came right out and said that the kid's father had bought the gun legally a week before. Yeah, so if he's that's taking the, his dad's gun, it's not a straw purchase. It's not a straw purchase. It's not a straw purchase. A straw purchase is when I buy a gun and I give it to Gerald for money almost immediately. In fact, you have to go in, you have to go into a store knowing that you're going to be selling it to somebody else immediately. Like that's your intent. If you go into a store, buy a gun, bring it home, and you decide you don't like it after you've used it, and you're like, it's one thing for me, you can sell it. And that's not a straw purchase. But if you go into the gun store thinking that you're going to buy this gun for somebody else, that's a straw purchase. So if somebody steals somebody else's gun that lives in that house, that's that's just negligence, maybe for not locking their gun up, depending on what state rule, you know, laws there are or whatever, or negligence for for not knowing that that was a possibility. Uh, but they're not going to get any federal crime on it i don't think i mean i don't know if that's a federal it well, might be i federal. guess they're, they're talking uh manslaughter four, four manslaughter charges on each of the parents for mm -hmm. allowing the kid to have access to the gun and ammunition yeah and the kid took his the gun <laughs> took it to school man, I, don't know, man. Back, well, I don't know out, shot I up to school <laughs> i'm pro second amendment and I love my guns. Well, you but... can't stop stupid people from doing stupid shit. And this guy didn't want to get a safe, and he had a kid with mental issues, and uh, didn't do what he needed well, to he do. He probably bought that gun for that fucking kid. He, he might have. Really well, no, you can buy it. You can buy a gun for your kid. There's a thing with, with <laughs> just like only. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, go right ahead. But. Just like you got to have a responsibility in driving a vehicle, you also have, like, I guess I'm kind of, like, you also have to have a responsibility in owning a gun. Man, the Wild West, there wasn't no rules and there wasn't, you know what I mean? Our, our society is pussified, bro. Our, our society is, is, is brainwashed to think that tools, oh, actually not all tools, just one tool, a yeah. firearm. Is something to be, you know, feared and and re regulated, et cetera, et cetera. It's it's there's people, bro. There's 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 you got a ton of people say like up in Chicago that got guns, right? But then you got a ton of people down south. You don't hear the same shit going on down south. You know the city. I mean Memphis. Memphis is pretty lawless, but you know for the most part, uh, Southern society is a polite society. Most really armed societies are, are, are peaceful societies. Well, you know? in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, I think that guns have gotten worse over the years because we've made them, we vilified them more over the years. We had just as many guns back in the 50s as we do now. I mean, they were different types of guns and stuff like that, obviously, but the shootings weren't the same. Why were the shootings not the same? I think it starts with the family, for one. You know, family unit is going to be, you know, with a dad that actually gives a shit. And second, uh, they taught gun safety in school. Shit, Gerald went to a gun safety class in his public school. And he yeah, didn't. I they took, I told you guys a bunch of times now, Arkansas has shooting sports. All our kids yeah. are eligible to, to become part of the shooting well, not only high school. Let me just finish this thought, though, real quick. Um, and kids would go to high school with gun racks in the back of their vehicles with their shotguns and rifles and all that right in their truck in the parking lot of the school. It wasn't a big deal because it wasn't as vilified. I think that's what's causing it yeah we the kids here i don't know what all southern states have shooting sports but arkansas has shooting sports so kids have shooting clubs in schools and stuff like that still that's cool 
Oh, but we goodness. also still have uh what do you call it corporal punishment in school where you can get your you could sign off to let them fucking paddle your kids ass at school if they're out of line so nice down here's like stepping back in a time machine that's the catholic church that's the catholic church <laughs> no, go, i had it in my church too my church school too and it wasn't catholic <laughs> but the nun, the nun come over there and fucking spank you in the fucking <laughs> Dude, I'd rather get spanked in the ass than get spanked on the wrist. Please. All right. <laughs> yeah. So they built Bangor High School, the new school, back in, I think, the 70s. The oh, early, the early 70s. The and when they did, oh, underneath the front stairs inside the school, it they've got a... Fifty-yard shooting range for, set up for twenty-two caliber guns yeah. for the shooting team. So they got an indoor range right in the high school. They just—it's no longer an indoor range. They did away with it. They—they mm. they did away with it back, back early eighties. Yeah, the uh, the folks down here are really proud of of not being democrats i could tell you that much yeah. I, learned, I learned how to shoot from my dad i learned how to shoot when i was seven or eight yeah my dad took me yeah we had guns we didn't go shooting a lot we went shooting maybe once maybe twice a year uh he worked for ruger here in arizona though which was really cool not all of my life growing up with him but when he did work for Ruger, it was cool because we got new guns every few months because that's what they gave out instead of bonuses. You, you know, you don't get a bonus, you get a gun. And for working for the company for six months, he got one of those uh, Luger lookalike 22s. I don't know the actual name of it, but it looks like a like a the modern, modern the art Luger. Yeah, it looks the like Mark, a probably Mark, Mark IV or whatever. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. It has the charging uh, tabs yeah. on the back. Well, and you pull straight they out. Made the Mark One, the Mark Two, the Mark Three. The Mark Four, and I think they're up to the Mark Five now. I don't even know. It was like 1989. So probably <laughs> a Mark Two. Probably he got it all nickel plated at the time when you could do that, and it was a tapered barrel instead of the straight, flat, squared off barrel. You know, that's yeah. a round tube. This one it was actually a, tapered. I, I had a Mark One with a tapered barrel. I learned. I learned how to shoot. With my dad's uh, double barrel shotgun. Nice. Uh, we go, we go hunting, uh, and we go hunting for a rabbit. And you know, one of these, and, and <laughs> side by sides. So you know, mine, mine was over under. Mine was over under. <laughs> Dude, I might have to open up my fucking seat. You might have to gun check. Gun check. Nice. Hold up. Yeah, the, do we go hunting for a rabbit? Whatever you got close to you, right? And that oh, there's there's tactical nugs and there's mine. You see two, you see two of them right there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we go hunting for rabbit and dove. We had the, I had the, and I had a band. I had, a, I, I still have the band, but I'm so fat now I can't fit in that fucking thing over there. With with those two guns sitting by the door, I could probably hunt anything in North America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a seven millimeter mag and a twelve gauge pump. I had I had a, a muzzleer. I had a muzzleer one time, but I gave it, I gave that shit up, man. I didn't want to fucking deal with black powder. Black powder fucking sucks. Oh, black powder's fun. Mm -hmm. I've got two muzzle loaders. It, it makes a really uh, nice spark, especially at night. It's like almost like fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the good thing. What's up, Jupiter Five? About every year, what I'll do is New Year's Eve. I'll have to clean them. I'll have to unload the muzzle loaders and yep. clean them and put them away. So midnight New Year's Eve, I'll take them both out on the porch, or if, sometimes I'll just stick them out the bedroom window, touch them both off, then have to take them apart and clean them at midnight. So that makes for a nice little flame shooting shooting out it. I did it for uh, uh, I muzzle loaded with uh, hunting deer. 
I use a, a muzzle loader for deer. And uh, when you're walking, when you're, it's like, you know, now it gets dark at like five o'clock. So five, six o'clock, we be walking oh, out of here at four o'clock. <laughs> Fuck that shit. It'd be pitch. It'd be pitch dark, and before we got to our trucks, we just fucking boom, let that shit off. That's, yeah. those, those were see, good times. See here. I load my muzzle loader up opening day. Everything but the primer. Yep. And when, if I was going out hunting, I'd stick the primer in it. I would love to fuck around then, with a muzzle loader. Oh, I don't know if I well. I don't know if I want to buy it's one. Dirty. It's dirty. I know it's dirty. And but and the, the, the history, the too. nostalgia, the this is how we want our country kind of shit. That that's just I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy one, but I would definitely fuck with one. You know what I mean? It makes it makes it makes aiming like my <laughs> aim is my aim is on point. All right. I'm like I'm like a fucking pizza cutter. I go if you can fucking aim that accurate with a muzzle loader and transfer that that accuracy to like a high powered rifle All right. it's like a pizza it's uh, you're like a pizza cutter. you can direct the bullets where you want them to like i do that shit with my glock with my glock i'm like a pizza cutter with my glock i'm just like beep, beep. i can see the bullets coming out of the fucking front of the barrel and oh. fucking well i can't do that but that's cool slicing a pizza <laughs> i'm still trying to get used to my excess big dot sights on my glock 30 i, I don't know I got a Glock 19 Gen 3. Nice. That shit's fucking accurate. Yeah. Like I had the I had the Glock 17 Gen 3, and I absolutely loved it, but I sold it. I still got mine. I ain't selling none of them. Yeah. Nice. Nice I've sold a couple firearms over my lifetime. Uh, the first pistol i bought ever sold it it was a ruger p95 and then i bought the glock 17 which i then sold and then i had a glock 30 i lost and had a report missing which sucked didn't like doing that and then i just sold my sega 12 gauge uh one a few months back well i guess it's been over a year now uh in order to get the comrade 12 which I'm so glad. I mean, the only reason I'm not happy about it is because I don't have the the fact I can't get another Sega 12 because that one was from Russia, imported the whole bit. I did the conversion on it. I got videos on my, well, I had videos on my channel on it until my channel got deleted, but uh, I mean, the videos are still around. You can find them, but yeah, I, I just missed that part of it. Other than that, the Comrade is way better for the situation I need it for. I still need one more gun. Yeah. One more, one more gun in my collection, and it's completed. What's that? That's the HK. Ooh. But, uh, what is the HK? The German one? I don't even know what the fuck they call that shit nowadays. It's got so many different fucking names. But the HK, 9 milli. Well, our state police are carrying HKs. Like, like the one that you see in fucking, like the Navy SEALs, like the Navy SEALs ones, the roller lock. What about one of those scars? You want a scar? What up, Chad Lily? Yep. E-Live is buffering so much, I had to come over here. Sorry, Jupiter 5. <clears throat> Man, we got to put this lo lower. It's too loud. The bartender's got a beer finally. Yep. I got a big old 40 Corona, bro. Got a line. You know what's crazy? Out, out here, they got those, uh, what is it, the 60 ounces? What? The one bigger than the 40? What? Yeah. There's bigger what? ones than the 40? There's a 60. Yeah, and then, and then that, uh, they got those, what is it, the 32 cans, hey, the, the 32s that are like fat. Like say like a Miller High Life, but it's like fucking like like a thirty two. Hmm. It's like fucking looks kind of short and stubby and fat. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you a nasty one. Sometime is uh, it came in green bottles. It was called Heffenrecker. 
And under the cap, they had the little puzzles like they do on the samples. After about three of them 40 ounce ones, try and figure out one of them puzzles get you completely confused. Mm -hmm. That shit make your face go numb. Oh. You'll be drinking and all of a sudden your lips are going numb and your tongue's going numb and Okay, I have been trying IPAs. Hold up now, survival. I had decided that there's so many IPAs out there, I'm going to try a few of them and see if I can find one I like because I remember not liking them before and I couldn't remember why. So I went ahead and I got a few. Every damn one of them tastes like grapefruit. I don't want a grapefruit beer. I don't want a citrus beer. I mean, lime in my Corona is about as close as I'll come to it. So well, IPAs, IPAs are are uh, rated on a on a bitterness scale, so that's why they use. Not every IPA is that, but most of them yeah, are derived grapefruit, yeah. some type of citrus, tangerine. But uh, dude, the IPAs will get you fucked up. I, uh, lo I that, love. I love. I think is that the reason I think people that like IPAs. Them? I think IPAs are better than all beers. Like hmm. not all IPAs are great, but. I haven't found IPA a good one. Beer. Your IPAs do have a higher alcohol content in them. All right. I'm, I'm listening. Uh, what what IPA would you recommend there, Tone? If you were going to be not getting too deep into something, something simple, uh, a Sierra Nevada, just a pale ale is really good, but that's kind of, that's really strong, strong still to start off. I'm trying to think what's in your area. Well, shit, dude, we have Bevmos, so we have a lot of stuff. Plus, there is the thing called the uh, uh, Lagunitas. Lagunitas Basic Pale Ale, probably. I think they're out of San Diego or something. Lagunitas, the, right? Yeah, that, those, that's a simple, easy, not... You could have a bunch of those and not be trashed, but feel real nice. And they're not as uh, hoppy, not hoppy, bitter, citrusy, grapefruity. They're right. it's a lot smoother, but... The higher the alcohol content in an IPA is usually going to mean it's more uh, grapefruity or citrusy or, you know what I mean, that yeah, bitter. And then there will be a bitter scale on the side of the can usually, too, that they use to rate. See, I don't IPA. mind. I don't mind the bitter. I don't like <clears throat> the flavor of the grapefruit. I have a bunch I could recommend out here, but you won't be able to get them out there. The, the easiest ones is like. How about the best one you've ever had? Like, if and you you got extra money in your pocket, so you don't mind spending for it. What are you getting? Probably a Sierra Nevada uh, uh, Pale Ale. Just really? A standard green can out of Chico, California. Really? That's the best one. That's yeah. I mean, it's a go-to. There's, I mean, there's. I'm trying to think if there's something that's there's there's some breweries out here that are blowing it away like there's a lot of breweries out here and uh what you could get in the store i say either a sierra nevada or just a plain old lagunita <laughs> and, and it's a, it's straight across the board it's it's really good those are two really good breweries it's not they're not too heavy you could fucking socially drink those and not get tore down but know. you know if you get over i'd say if you drank Six of those, five, six of those, you're going to be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to drink that much anymore, dude. I got a small-ass stomach now. <laughs> up here, microbreweries are <laughs> becoming a big thing. And dude, they are They are everywhere. It's an yeah. easy way for, like, like it's usually young folks starting yep. a little a little microbrewery. They come up with their little recipe. And dude, we got so many of those in Phoenix. It. Oh, we had a we had a doctor that his hobby was br brewing beer. He gave up his medical practice and opened up a, br a microbrew. Well, shit, I was even thinking about at least getting one of those at home kits because I I do fermenting of vegetables, right? So I was like, I go to the fermenting store anyway, and they they have the stuff there for wine and beer, and I'm like, and and like fucking whiskey and shit, like shine. Oh, yeah. oh I'd love to get into it. I uh, I. Got all the shit down cellar to make beer with. Huh. And I've never been able to have it taste like anything I, I like to drink. 
A buddy of mine made a batch, <coughs> borrowed my kit, made a batch one time, and he let it age a month and brought me over a couple to try them out. The damn things tasted like Heineken's. <laughs> Dude, you could get a you could get a you could get a Stone IPA out near you too. Stone IPA is really good. That's gonna All be right. a strong one. Yeah, Fucking I've seen the Stones. Boot. I don't think I've had one, but I've I've seen them. Uh, Voodoo Ranger. I've seen those. Yes, they're everywhere. Those, yeah, those are that's really good. But make sure you get a low alcohol content one because they're those six. Mm. Six point seven point eight point oh, nine. Oh yeah, man. we got. <laughs> well, we like these Rick, uh, wicked red apples. Mm -hmm. They're eight percent by volume, <laughs> and she gets them in these big ass cans. I don't know how how many ounces is that. No, no, it doesn't say. No, sixteen. Twenty four ounces. Twenty four. Twenty four ounces. Oh shit. Of eight percent by volume, yeah, and uh, that'll that'll get her. Saying yes to whatever I ask, <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, really? Yep. Hey, now. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, it's uh, it's they're really good beers, dude. And and the the art of little micro brews and stuff, like Gerald's saying, like you could go from we have a, a handful of breweries in town, but there's a fuck ton up in this area, Arkansas. And even across the border into Missouri, and each one, they all might taste like an IPA, but they all taste different. Not well, one's even close. No, one to will taste, the same. No, not one will taste like another one. I did have yeah. a chocolate beer that I was amazed uh, those, actually those tasted are, like chocolate. <laughs> yep. Those are those can be rough, dude. I've had some bad ones. I've had some okay ones. Guinness, Guinness. That's basically. An import. I've had a Guinness I like. I've had a Guinness I didn't like, and then I tried the Guinness coffee that they just came out with, with the nitro coffee or whatever. I was not a fan of that, and it was such a low alcohol volume. It's like I, I'd have to. Dude, Guinness is trying to do too much. They should have just stayed with their fucking just their regular old fucking Guinness, a Guinness. You know what I mean? Now they got all these different ones, yeah. and some of them are all right, but nothing will beat a pint of Guinness in a bar. I don't, I don't know, care what nobody I don't said. know if you guys ever see a uh, beer called Sea Dog from Sea Dog Brewery. No. Because they carry it at all the stores around here, but Sea Dog's like a little micro brewery. They've got one in Bangor and another one down in Portland. Yeah, we have one here in Arizona called Four Peaks. They do this one called Kilt Lifter. That shit is my favorite beer. Like if I if I don't I don't have to worry about money, I'm buying kilt lifters. They're not that expensive, but they're absolutely delicious. It's like a toasted kind of beer. Anyway, uh just to let everybody know if you're new, uh Tony and Chowder Pouch, I don't know if you heard this before, but the chat here in in StreamYard is me copying and pasting the chat from YouTube so that you guys can see it. So if you respond in the chat there to somebody that won't it doesn't work. You have to actually respond by speaking to the comment if you read it because I'm copying and pasting it and I'm not doing it uh, back either. <laughs> so fuck that shit. All right. They have peanut butter beer as well. I like it. it says OG Skywatch. Peanut butter beer. Nah, I had it once. It sucks. Yeah, I've tried peanut butter vape, and I was not a fan. No, nah. it doesn't even taste like it. No, I had one that was close. It, it was more like a Tootsie Roll, you know, Tootsie Roll chocolate. I'm like, I like Tootsie Rolls. Okay, so I, I was desperate. I took it, and uh, probably uh, an hour or two after I got it, I already was like, man, I really shouldn't have gotten this. This is this is already old. The coil's so freaking dirty because of all the color and shit. Yeah. So in Massachusetts, 
There's a, tr uh, tr I think it's called Trillium. Trillium is, uh, was voted the best brewery, I think, in, in the United States. And they, they, uh, they go through it. A ton of beer, man. A ton of beer. Mm. You have to, like, wait in line. Like, you could be a line all the way. And then they can be like, all right, we're out of beer. And the people that are waiting in line are asked out. They ain't got shit. Damn. Truly. They, they're, they're good. Oh, supposedly. I don't know. We got a couple of breweries. There's a... There was, I remember, because I was getting into uh, barbecue, right? And I remember this channel was going to, like, the best barbecue place in Texas. And that reminds me, because they only had so much, and there was a line across, you know, down the down the street. And if you weren't there, like, the last evening waiting, you weren't going to get your brisket. So, yeah. <laughs> That always amazed me, you know. It's like, okay, it's good, but really, is it that fucking good? Well, we've got a barbecue place in Bangor. If you want to get what you want, you better get there early. Because hmm. they sell out fairly quick. What's up with Lynn Wood? Lynn I'm, Wood. I'm in, I'm in the dark. Yeah, he uh, supposedly switched sides. He's like the left here, let me let me go to it real quick. Uh, Lin Wen, who briefly represented Rittenhouse, uh, has changed his tone because Rittenhouse, in an interview with Fox News host Tucker Carlson after not guilty verdict, called him insane. Rittenhouse said Wood had taken advantage of him. Soon after, Wood accused Carlson of having a buddy buddy relationship with Hunter Biden, President Biden's son. Birds of a feather flock together. Just saying, Wood posted. Prove the allegation. He posted a screenshot on Telegram that allegedly shows friendly conversation between Carlson and Hunter from 2014. The screenshot shows that Carlson asked Hunter to write a letter of recommendation for his son Buckley to help him get into Georgetown University. Okay. Uh, Wood also said that he plans to sue Fox News and Carlson, who recently claimed he works for the deep state. Oh, and when I sue Tucker Carlson on Fox and take old Tucker boy's sworn testimony upon cross-examination, I'll be sure to ask him all about his buddy-buddy relationship with, of years with Hunter Biden, Wood wrote. I uh, wonder if Tucker will be a ghost no-show for his dis disposition like some other false accusers have been in recent months. Some people hate to face the truth, especially under penalty of perjury. Watch it. It'll happen. So yeah, he's going around like CNN and and other places, like totally going after Fox and Rittenhouse and all that shit. I remember watching Rittenhouse. I saw that. I saw that shit live, man. I saw that shit in real time, and it was fucked up, man. Mm -hmm. That shit was fucked. Like, yeah, if I was Rittenhouse, I'd be smoked. Uh, they're lucky he only killed two people because if it was me, I'd kill like five or six of them coming after me like that shit. Every time somebody backed away or put their hands up, he lowered his weapon. I mean, this guy, this kid, oh my God, dude, had the best. Like, he you can't wish for somebody more self-defense than this. Jump, jump man, jump man. Well, he shot, he shot at jump kick. He, he did shoot at him. He missed him. Oh, so I wouldn't he, have missed. Yeah, well that that is the one that's the one negative of Rittenhouse that night. He missed Jump Kick Man. Other well, apparently the prosecution knew who Jump Kick Man was from the beginning and decided not to call him because they he was gonna be bad for their fucking case, but didn't disclose it to the defense until much, much later. And oh my god, I mean this prosecution should be tried for for something. Lying? Well, they didn't give the defense evidence that could have helped their case. That's against I'm 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 a novice with the law, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to disclose that. Oh, you're absolutely right about that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then in in trial, going after him for not talking up sooner, dude. That's his Fifth Amendment. And the judge and the judge 
Even even if Kyle Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse, whatever his name was, Rittenhouse <laughs> was uh, was guilty, the judge was gonna was gonna deny it. He was gonna cause a mis. He was. Oh, yeah. He even said it. He was like. I already told you, fucking prosecutor assholes, what I'm gonna do if you keep doing this, and you fucking assholes keep doing this. Yep. So the and consequences he, was a mistrial. Out of the cold. He, and even if even if he was convicted by the jurors, the judge the judge was gonna call a mistrial and like maybe Kyle maybe not. Like, I don't know. I I didn't have that much faith in that judge. I thought he was just not wanting to have to take ownership of it right he wanted it to be the jury he didn't want to own that no matter what because he should have called a mistrial as soon as they went against him for his fifth amendment that should have been done that was the second warning and then he got they got a third warning and i don't know how many times this judge remanded the prosecution for doing this kind of shit oh mule's in the house hold up well you know that's probably the only thing that stopped that city from burning yeah, but you know what? If the judge had called a mistrial on that and thrown it out, all hell would have broke loose everywhere. The judge worked with the jury to make sure that he was not... Because the judge can talk to the jury. Like, a judge can talk to the jury. And the judge was saying, this is, this is what they're doing. Like, what they're doing is fucked up. And... I don't know. Maybe the judge had influence on the jury. I don't know, but it doesn't even matter. Like the judge was going to overturn whatever the jury, like if the jury said that he was guilty, the judge was going to overturn it. But then the prosecution has a, has a sec cause it's called. Yeah, double that was jury. the right to appeal it. Yeah. The judge, the prosecution, but now that he is acquitted, like he's, acquitted like the prosecution can't go after him yeah again. yeah yeah that's that's the great thing about that for sure and i get that but i was nervous about that because i still thought he should have called a mistrial before that so to think like if he had been found guilty that that might have happened that's putting an awful lot of eggs in one fucking basket dude that's all i'm saying but if he'd have called the sorry mistrial before the You'd have seen yeah, you'd have seen that that video. Like I saw that video live. I remember yeah. the dude. The dude was live streaming. I think I think it might have been on the Green Dragon. I don't even know. But <laughs> would, would you want to? Would you want to be the judge that threw that out? Just as it's getting ready to go to jury. Yeah, I'm not. I know, but Indeed, still, at the same time, it's a very obvious infraction. Like and, the judge said, he had the papers. On the request for a mistrial, he'd go over them after the jury come in. The FBI, the FBI had drone footage of the whole entire incident, and he, they withheld it from his defense. That right there, a normal judge would have thrown right that out right away. Like... Yeah. So you're telling me the FBI had drone footage? Yeah. Gave it to the prosecution, didn't give it to the defense, and then the prosecution who was supposed to disclose that to the defense gave them a edited version, said that it wasn't edited or reduced in size. However, the damn prosecutor with his laptop open has software on it that does just that, compresses videos into a very small window on his desktop so he's obviously lying when he does it when he says that he has no idea about anything like that it's on your fucking computer on video you know well they they need to go after those that prosecutors was, that was the, if if the jury found him guilty the judge would have used that to call it a mistrial yeah hey, we've it's and crazy because we was hoping for Maybe we've come so far down the fucking the timeline of tyranny and all that kind of shit that nobody even gives a fuck that there's drones just flying over us watching us. Yeah. I mean, this wasn't the first time. Yeah, everybody's worried about Rittenhouse and the trial, dude. You know, I mean? you know, but what about it? 
them flying drones over us and watching mm. us and doing all that kind of shit on American soil, all the shit that they were doing overseas, they brought that shit full circle. No, on nobody us. Said nothing about that. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Everybody's we're so conditioned now. You know, they're flying a drone over uh, the Lavoy Finnicum uh, situation. Oh, you know yeah. it. You know that. Well, they had the footage. They really when they shot they him did. up, they had to release all that footage. Yep. You know, I mean, everybody was so outraged about the particular event, and I and understanding, rightfully so, that I mean, nobody ever gets to the to the point like, hey. There's drones watching what we're doing, and it's the FBI warrantlessly using. I mean, even if they had a warrant, now it's just cool willy nilly. I mean, it's is not. That where we're at? All right, so here here's the deal: the drones, because it's considered flying over public, like it's it's a public space. Uh, you don't need a warrant for that. What you need yeah, but most of the time when they're flying those drones through that through that space, they usually end up doing a, a no fly zone. So it, it, it ends up becoming like you know like a war zone. Like nobody's gonna fly here, but we're gonna fly here because a lot of those areas. I don't know about the Rittenhouse thing, but I imagine there was probably a no. It's fly just zone more of the over. surveillance state, dude. It's it's but more it's of the good. surveillance state. The prosecutor of what, frequ what frequency the drones on key up a ham radio to that frequency and give a big whistle. It, it, it'll screw everything up with the controls of it and crash their damn drone for them. The, the, F the FBI has the footage. The federal government has the footage. Oh, yeah, they do. But it's up to the prosecution to get a warrant to get access to that footage. Yeah. The federal government has the footage, no matter what. The federal government already made a law that it's legal to videotape you anywhere. The federal mm -hmm. government already did it. But the prosecution, if you commit a crime or you're videotaping, whatever, the prosecution has to get a warrant through the judge to, to get act just to get access to that video so that they can use that video to prosecute you and throw you in the slammer. You want to see well, I mean, you want how to see long it's fucked, up. it's fucked up. How long how long till they just put a payload on that drone and 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 oh, judge yeah. judge dredge your ass right there on the spot. Okay, you want to see something scary? Go to go if you're a school shooter going go out there shooting up a school and a fucking drone rolls up like fucking in Transformers and fucking <laughs> you away. I love you, Mario. You, you want to see something scary? <laughs> is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? If it they comes up like a Transformer, on, I'm going to be stuff. geeking out. I'm just saying. They don't they, use it they, on they, stuff like that, though. Those They'll be used against America's enemies. Cool. <laughs> Go to Google Earth and put in your address and zoom in. Dude, I have a, I have a street view. I have a street view of my house. I can zoom I've in. A, I've, got, I've got a drive, <laughs> drive view, and I've got an overhead view. Hell, yeah. I could I could zoom in enough on the last one I looked at. I could see. I could see the actual pot plants in the ground. Well, the only thing a drone cannot do is it cannot roll up onto you. If a drone flies over your property, then it's considered like bad because <laughs> uh what if what if i'm a fucking creepy you don't FBI own the airspace on your land just so you know what if i'm nope. a creepy fbi agent that you're, wants you're to go good to the tree tops. Tree tops. it's over the, the, tree tree tops in trouble. the 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 window trying out new bras and she's got her titties all flapping all over in the mouth <laughs> yeah. i'm a creepy ass fbi agent that wants that gets off on that shit Right. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, you don't own any airspace. I mean, you might own your tree line, I guess, maybe possible, but it's been well noted in history, at least that I've heard. But yeah, you don't own your airspace, which sucks. No, 
You own up, you own up to the tree line. That's yeah. it. However, if they're below the tree line, you happen to take. Oh, I was shooting a fucking rodent out of the fucking yeah. tree, and the okay. drone was in the way. Hmm. <laughs> well, no. You if you get... shoot a government drone, dude, I don't, I think you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure you're in a lot of fucking trouble, whether it's over your property or not. As I said, you don't own that airspace. <laughs> That's like that's like post office. It's well, like it, it shouldn't have been in between me and that porcupine I was trying to. Yeah, take yeah, that porcupine way way the fuck up there because the FBI drones. I doubt you're gonna see them without some high power lenses or some shit yeah, like that. Well, that's what I'm saying. If they're below the tree line, well, that's their fucking problem. Well, yeah, if they get down that low, well, then I mean, the only, they're probably the only going down anyway. Yep. The only thing that saves my you, bacon. You might as well shoot that drone because you're going to be having a gunfight with all of them coming up the driveway in about two seconds anyway. Right. The only thing that saves my bacon is I'm near an airport. Like my house is like next to an airport. Oh, and drones. That's going to suck. <laughs> dr drones can't fly near an airport. Right. Want a bet? I, uh, I don't know. You want to bet on that, would you? Well, government drones versus personal drones, yeah. maybe. I mean, the government can do what the fuck they want, and their drones are bigger than our drones. Uh, so, I mean, they're flying so high up, you well, don't even see bangle, them. Bangle, bangle Dude, if, PD's got a couple drones that are about the size of our drones. What if, what if it's a what if it's a hella hella carrier like in fucking uh like in fucking Avengers. Like one of them fucking like uh flying fucking uh what the hell you call those things? Aircraft carriers. Flying aircraft carrier the hella drone. Huh. I I don't know this one. But it sounds cool. Sounds like uh um, Terminator kind of shit. Dude, it's it's you ever watch the event you ever watch the movie The Event do you ever watch uh Captain America no. uh the third one? No. Well, I watched one with a dude, and I didn't really know which one it was. It was all right. I never was really into the superhero stuff unless it was Batman. <laughs> dude, watch watch the one with the fucking helicar the helicarriers. Yeah, they they have like nine of them, and they fly over the cities, and they fucking sent some fucking AI bullshit. Cookie. That can target yeah, their uh, really political well. enemies really and fucking shoot them out of the fucking sky. That Damn. was, uh, I think it was Cap. It was, I don't know if it was Civil War, uh, Captain America. It might have been Captain America Winter Soldier. Well, yeah, I, I, I saw a couple of the movies in that in that series. I guess it was right. I and then when I realized that in order to get the full gist of the whole story i had to watch all of these stories and i was like there's like what i don't know three movies a year yeah. <laughs> i'm just i'm done, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. i hope it yeah, all works out for you the captain america the the series there was three movies three captain america movies right and they were really good well now they now now it's a chick captain america's a girl now Right? Uh, it's a black guy. It's a Fal uh, Falcon. Falcon is the new uh, Captain America. He's the black guy. Well, I thought they made a girl one, the latest yeah. one. Yeah, the latest the one. The one, the one that has the the one that has the wings that can fucking fly and shit. Okay, are you talking about the comic or the movies? The both. No, the movies. At least the movies is a girl now. Captain America is a girl. She's a chick. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, it's the black guy. It's the black guy. It's Fal I, I, I have I have Disney Plus. I have the. It's the, okay. Well, I mean, Falcon. unless they changed it real recently, Falcon. but he has the shield. The sh whoever has the shield right. is Captain America. Gotcha. And Falcon has the shield. Oh man, I need to get other people in on this. I might have to Google I'm, it. I'm not really into Hold Captain up. Hold up. that much. I'm just curious at this point. I don't even care if I'm right or wrong. Captain America. According to Wikipedia, Hold up. Captain America is a superhero appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Who is the current Captain America? 
Sam Wilson. According to Inverse, there you go. Rick Remender and Stuart Eminent in today's <laughs> Sam Wilson is Captain America in Captain America, Volume 7, Number 25 in 2014. Wilson got his own title by the same creative team. I don't understand this. I was pretty sure. Who am I thinking of then? Uh, Gerald? I don't know. Sam, Sam Wilson is the Falcon. The guy with the wings. You know, the guy that flies around. He's the uh, ex, uh, he's the ex uh, like, Marine or whatever the fuck he was. He was the, hmm. the counselor. But that was seven years ago. What was her name? It was, hey. supposed to be Bucky. it was supposed to be Bucky. Female Captain America. The Winter, the Winter Soldier was supposed Peggy to be Carter. the next According Captain America. The magic, in the MCU, Sam Wilson is the first black Captain America, and Peggy Carter is the first female version of the character. Oh, Peggy there Carter. we go. Yes. I was right, and you were right. We were both right. All right, cool. Yeah, I was, I was I like... There was a woman Captain America. Yeah, but... there... And nobody liked her. <laughs> like nobody fucking liked her ass. Well, yeah, she was, she, she was British. She wasn't even American. She was British. Well, I don't remember that because I didn't watch the series, right? But I mean, in that whole end game or whatever with the the purple guy with the fist thing with the gems, I mean, she was in that fight. So I'm sure that you knew about this female that I was thinking about, and it should have been Captain America was so. <laughs> What's up, Arm Dark Angel? How you doing? Hello, Mario. You guys are fucking loaded. Yeah, well, it is a Friday. I'm drinking beers. I'm, I'm drinking Diet do. I'm still working on my forty, and I'm and I got a water because I'm trying to not to oh, get too sloused. Only broke ass motherfuckers drink phones. No, I'm not an alcoholic, and I don't want to keep it in my house, or I might become an alcoholic. So I buy it and. One drink intervals. <laughs> this will yeah, get me nice and toasted tonight. And I don't have I do nothing. Like, Twelve pack of Bud Light. Twelve pack of Bud Light. It's me. Right Dude, just... I was drinking probably six beers a night for a little while there, Wait. and I was actually gaining weight. I was like, you "Fuck what... this shit! I ain't drinking beer no more." You know what Bud Light and sex in a canoe has in common? Oh, you can always get tipsy in it. No, they're both fucking near water. <laughs> the reason it's light is they lower the alcohol content to lower the calories. Yeah, I don't drink a lot. Just because I was drinking a lot and I decided, you know what? It first of all, it's extra money. Second of all, it's not great for you. And uh I like being high better anyway. So we, we get we get high more than we get drunk. Right. Gee. I think that's what I'm doing. Getting high and drinking Diet do. Yeah, I used to drink do. Diet do a lot. I drink a lot of it. I drink a lot of Coca-Cola, man. I love Coca-Cola. That, yeah. that, that's my third bottle today right there. Coca-Cola, you got to drink it out of a can. Fuck bottles, man. Bottles suck. <laughs> this is my third <laughs> bottle. The, gla the glass if bottles, was, though, were nice. The glass. If I, if I was drinking this out of a can, yeah. I in Mexico is. is uh, I'd be into my second twelve pack already. It tastes better, dude. You gotta stop the diet, dude, bro. I I'm just telling you now. <laughs> oh, I know. It's so I'm bad. Gonna... It is so bad for you. And I and I I used to drink regular Mountain Dew, yeah, right? Oh shit! I used yeah. to too. No, yeah, same, same, right? I I drank. I I think I guessed about at least twelve to fifteen cans of regular Mountain Dew a day. I did not drink water. I drank Mountain Dew, right? Yep. I also ate whatever the fuck I wanted and didn't exercise. So I ballooned up to five hundred and twenty-five pounds. Then I switched to diet soda, so from regular do to diet do, and within six months lost a hundred. But then became diabetic, and it's just my personal belief that when you fuck with your system so long, because when you have sugar, you're you make insulin. 
But when you have fake sugar, your body gets ready to make that insulin, but then finds out that it didn't need to. So that energy is wasted. And I believe, and it's just my opinion and not medically, that that psyching your system out that fucking much is what caused me kind of to become diabetic. So now it doesn't deliver the right amount of insulin because it, it doesn't know if it's real sugar or if it's fucking fake sugar or what it is. That's your pancreas. Right. Well, with me, I was drinking at least a 12 pack a do a day, regular yep. do. Yep. And it got to the point where I couldn't go five minutes without having a piss. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was constantly thirsty. So I told my wife, I said, hey, call my family doctor, make an appointment for me. She goes, why? What do you think's going on? I says, I think I might have, I might become diabetic. Yeah. Because it runs in my family. My dad was, my grandfather was on my mom's side. And so, went in, they did that finger stab and they couldn't get a reading on it. They said the machine only read as far as 600 dollars. It was over. Oh, shit. And then they come in with a needle and start pulling tubes of blood out of me. No screaming. They were going to admit me into the hospital that night, and I said, so what are they going to do for me in the hospital that I can't do for myself at home? <laughs> Gerald, you're he an amazing said, story. <laughs> he, he said they can they because they can regulate what you eat. I said, well, I can do that at home. I ain't going to the hospital. I went home. I had an appointment for the following Monday. When in Monday morning, they did the finger check again, and had my blood sugar down to 350. Wow. So I used to be diabetic and I did not like being diabetic. I was on just the metformin for a long time, but eventually got to the point where I had to use insulin. And I was really upset about that because I always thought I'd, you know, could I could do it myself. I could lose this weight. I could get not being diabetic, you know, or get it under control enough to where I don't have to do insulin. Now I'm doing insulin. I fucking hate that shit. You know, and now no longer diabetic. Actually, I think I went a little low up. My blood sugar was like 65 the other day. I had to eat something because, you know, don't don't do that much anymore. But uh yeah, it was it's just weird. Uh but I'm glad to not have that problem anymore. Well, there's something in the met for in the cookie get down. There's something in the diet do that keeps my blood sugar in check, so I don't have to take my metformin. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no sugar in it, so you're not. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna spike it. Yeah, that, and that's the great thing about it. It keeps it right down to right right around a hundred. I eat whatever the hell I want. You don't even. You know what's the worst thing about diabetes? Mm. Is it kills your kidneys? Yeah. Oh yeah. And once it and once it attacks your kidneys, you're fucked. Yep. So in order to beat, and you can beat it without getting the surgery. So I've been talking about it, but yes, I had the gastric bypass. Um, you can you can get you can beat diabetes if you're type two, right? Uh, if with intermittent fasting. You can do it without the surgery. It's a lot easier with the surgery because obviously the hard part's over. It's just done for you because you can't eat really. Uh, but but yeah, you can beat it. See, I'd sit right here with a pile of cookies and eat them. I do, <laughs> I do it all the time. Here's here's what here's what I do because I love I like drinking Coca Cola like Coca Cola. I enjoy. I like the gas. Yeah. The gas makes me digest better. But only buy it from a can. Don't <laughs> buy it from a bottle. Buy it from a can. It's, it's it's a smaller portion of it. It's I think it's like sixteen ounces. It's like a small can. And uh, like when I you know, I only drink Coca Cola midday. I because mm -hmm. I can't drink Coca Cola at night. I only drink Coca Cola midday when I eat my lunch. When I eat my lunch, I'll have it with a 
can of Coca Cola. All right, hold on. I'm doing a lot of stuff right now, Nugs. Uh, first of all, any kind of drink that has caffeine in it is a diuretic, and you are severely um, dehydrated. And in order for your metabolism to work better, you need to be well hydrated. So you need to cut out anything with caffeine. I would suggest if you like the soda, like soda stuff, because I, I do too. I was there. Uh, check out Soda Streams. We got one at a really good deal, but they're usually right around 100 bucks. And they have all your favorite Coca-Cola product flavors. I think those might be caffeinated, but if you play around with some different flavors, and that's how we get our water that's not caffeinated, but it is carbonated. And it tastes delicious. So that's that's a way to be more hydrated, <laughs> fellers. <laughs> well, I, 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 drink, I drink a couple of glasses of water every day right out of the tap here. But I'm not on city water. It's coming out of my well. couple ounces? I hope it's... <laughs> All right, Gerald. Just yeah, it's it's when you get it's when you get into extremes when you start getting into a liter of Coca Cola when you when you start getting into two liters. These are, in, these are, this, zone, no matter this what. is this is a damn two liter. Yeah, that is definitely a two liter bottle of. Well, yeah, um, because they're cheaper if by the two liter, dude. I know, I know exactly. that exactly. Yeah. When they used to have the twenty four packs on sale for five bucks, oh. Bro, we would stock the fuck up. See here, we'll see. <laughs> How much of that do you drink a day? How much of that 20, 24 liter bottle? Do you well, but a between I me and the wife, four. it would be one of those a day. I drink three to four of those a day. Uh, that's that's borderline a lot. Yeah, it was it was more borderline, borderline. a lot? I think it's quite a damn bit. Well, and I wasn't drinking water at all. Well, that's two damn gallons. I don't know. I. I don't think it would have been gallons. But, like I said, I drink two or three glasses of water a day. That's not even close to enough. No, you got to have like eight to ten. Yeah, yeah, that's minimal. Yeah. Now, and that's why I like my soda stream, dude. If it doesn't have caffeine in it, and you can actually, there's other drinks out there that you can buy in a can that don't have caffeine in it, right? We were doing these... Uh, lemon seltzer waters from kroger for a while they were like 59 cents it's a one liter bottle it really good and you don't have to buy a hundred dollar machine right that was that was a way that we were getting through our soda withdrawal so we got we got some of them around here somewhere or i mean i don't don't other sodas make caffeine free like a and w root beer freaking yeah, root beer. I like, root I, like I like the caffeine. The caffeine is good. <laughs> well, yeah, the caffeine's a diuretic. It <laughs> makes your metabolism it slower. <laughs> it gives you a but with me, it's I don't drink stimuli. coffee. It gives you a, a slight stimuli. Yeah. It's the, it's the corn it's the corn syrup. It's the uh Oh, it's all the bad <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah, this one ain't got the corn, corn syrup, syrup in it. It's it. That's what kills your pancreas. It's corn syrup. <laughs> But I still think this stuff's more closer to antifreeze. But the I think the carbon <laughs> kind of smells like antifreeze sometimes. Well, I'll, I'll tell you something. It's been dropping down into the twenties at night, and sometimes when I'm carrying shit in from the truck, I'll get a little lazy and leave a couple bottles of soda out there. So yeah, I'll get them in the morning or something. All right. Dude, what's the is is Red Bull better for you? These son of a bitches haven't even gotten slushy yet. It's the same thing as Red Bull. It's like drinking Red Bull. Oh, I like bangs. Some, bangs some people are good. Will, will drink Red Bull to get a little bit more energy. I drink mm. Coca Cola to give me a little bit more energy. Red Bull and vodka is good, though. Red Bull and vodka is very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives you, it, it gets you fucking wasted. Oh, well, we do that with Jägermeister, and we call them Jäger bombs. Yeah. yeah. A Jäger bomb? No, a Jäger bomb is uh, a Jäger, uh, Jäger and, and Red Bull. It was Red Bull and Jäger. Uh, I thought, I thought Jäger bombs would drop into a beer. Greek, it's a, 
it's a three quarter glass of Guinness in the shot of it's a shot of Jaeger. Yeah. And you dump the Jaeger. Uh, you, you drop, drop, you the, drop uh, the shot glass right into the glass, and you just take it back and pound it. I remember the shot glass being dropped in. I don't know. I'm probably misremembering some of that. That's a Jaeger. That's a Jaeger bomb. The Jaeger bomb would have had mm-hmm. beer with it. All right, might have been beer. Might have been beer. It's a Guinness. Well, shit, dude. It was like 20 years ago. Fuck. <laughs> and then you have, and then you have the He Man. The He Man. <laughs> bomb. You. And God, like, I wouldn't be doing that. Much. <laughs> The He Man, the He Man, and I only seen one person ever perform this, on, and it was a, it was a feat that was like holy cow! <laughs> it's a it's a a pint of Jaeger. Uh, no, oh, what the hell is it? It's a it's a oh, man. All I know, it was a pitcher of uh. Guinness. It was a pitcher of Guinness with a like a full glass of Jaeger. And you dump that shit and and you just chug that shit. Hmm. I only saw one man perform it and it was the most amazing. Afterwards? The dude, when he was done, his eyes rolled in the back of his head. And I knew that he was instant. He was from sober to instant Wasted. Well, <laughs> you didn't get alcohol poisoning. <laughs> well, after that, he went into the bathroom and puked it all out. <laughs> like he went, he went to the right, but by the time you get to the puking stage, it, your body's already absorbed that alcohol out of it. Oh, he was. He you're, was you're just puking out the liquid. The alcohol's already been absorbed. That's the He Man. That's the He Man. The He Man car bomb. Oh, speaking of which, my daughter got me another pop filter. I, she thinks I like these. I, I, I mean, the He Man's cool, I guess. But why does the He Man look like a girl? Because it's a pop filter. They all kind of well look girlish, and He Man had long hair. So there you go. <laughs> I don't know. I think she could try harder. The second one she's gotten me. I need to stop telling her I like him. <laughs> at, least, at, least, at least she cares. Yeah. She yeah. Cares. No, that is true. They are special because of that, but they're the only ones that I own. Hey, you never know, man. In like 20 or 30 years, it might be worth some money. Anything that's meant to be collected is automatically null and void, never going to be worth shit because everybody's (laughs) fucking collecting the fucking shit out of it. You got to collect shit that nobody thinks is valuable right now. (laughs) Now, Or you got to get one-offs. One-offs. One-offs or something that you find that's unique. Uh, I've always been taught if you've never heard of it before... Look into it because it might be valuable. There was, we were in a, uh, we were doing this thing where we'd go to thrift stores and stuff to buy items and then resell on eBay or whatever, right? That equivalent. And we were flipping it. And so we're in there, we're looking for stuff. And I see this, this pink Jesus, or maybe Heidi might have saw it or whatever, right? And so I'm like, looking at this pink Jesus. What the hell is this pink? Is it's a statue of Jesus, but it's pink. And I'm looking at it. I turn it over, and all of a sudden, I see something in a liquid blue come up. And it was an, a magic fucking eight ball in a statue of a Jesus in pink. And so I'm like, all right, I've never heard of that. I'm going to definitely look it up. And sure enough, in box, brand new in box, $250. They're selling this. It doesn't have the box, but and it looks like it's been used quite a bit. Shit, for, they're only charging five bucks. I'm gonna get like fifty, seventy-five dollars, and uh, so we put it up there on a seventy-five dollar reserve, and they bid it all the way up to like two fifty, two seventy-five, or something like that for five bucks. That was a great flip. Mm-hmm. 
profit. I always look for those strange things you've never seen before. That not dumb. Yeah. A new pooper scooper. <laughs> the long lost best pooper scooper ever. That's why I miss one of the old gun shops they used to have over in Corinna. The guy retired, couldn't find nobody to buy the business, so just closed it up. Hmm. And you know, you'd walk in there, you'd never know what you'd see out there on the shelves. He was he he basically for new guns he carried like Henry's and Glock, but. Hell, I'd gone in there before and seen a Thompson sitting on the shelf. Mm. <laughs> it was only semi auto, but it looked cool. Yeah. The best the best poopa scooper. <laughs> yes. Is the, one, is the one that is the one that you never have to use. Yeah. It's one of your kids. I have my fucking animals poop and piss wherever the fuck they want. Fuck them. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Like, yeah, I guess if it, well, I don't have, I don't have a dog. But if I had a dog, I'd be like, yo, bro, I wouldn't even fucking chain that motherfucker. Poop and piss where the fuck you want. I've got two dogs I have to hook up. That's just because they'll run off if you don't. Ah, uh, one thing about dogs, they always come. They always come back. The dogs ain't stupid. Well, let's see. Princess, she was 10 months old when she took off the first time. It, well, it wasn't the first time she'd taken off, but... How'd you get How'd you get her back? Well, this is a good one. <laughs> she took off with her brother. They were gone. The next morning, he came back. Usually, she was like 10 minutes behind because him. Because he was hungry. The dog yeah. was hungry. He knew where the exactly. food was. Well, she it's didn't come back. I got food up at this motherfucker. I'm coming so, back. Over so here. I, I'm cruising. Oh, always come back. I'm cruising all the back roads out back of here trying to find her. About three days she'll, later, she'll three day, about three days later, I'd given up hope on her. Well, all of a sudden, we get a phone call from my stepson, Jason. Well, it was his wife that called. Well, his ex-wife. And asked us what Princess had on for a collar. Told us she had her little dolphin collar on. And she goes, well, she goes, you said she was missing. She goes, she's been found. She showed up at their house over in Carmel. I was looking for food. 21 miles by road from here to there. She was really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> She was 10 months old. Dogs ain't stupid, man. Animals ain't dumb. And when we got it, we, I went over, picked her up, brought her home. She stayed home and didn't run off for a while. And then about seven, eight years ago, she was at my mom's house. And my mom was supposed to bring her home and come, come here for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, my mom came up with some fucking excuse not to show up. And my one, my brother's ex was at my mother's house, walked through the store, and the dog was following her. Well, she got about halfway to the store, realized it was further than she thought it was. She called the fucking taxi, left the dog sitting on the side of the road. The dog had no idea where the hell she was. Well, we got... We got her back 49 days later. Wow. She was like three towns away from my mother's house. She was down to about 29 pounds. Now I'm betting she's probably close to 140. Oh, yeah. She knew where the food was. <laughs> <laughs> she knew where the food was. Dude, well, the when, nose is amazing, man. Well, we, we were out looking for her everywhere out around my mom's area. And then... Well, just think about it. When you walk outside of a parking lot of a strip mall, and all of a sudden you smell like that 
Ooh, what is that? Oh, that oh, that's like fried fucking chicken. And you can oh, you can kind of figure out where that wind's coming from a little bit, a little especially at night. You know how the sense. Yeah, Burger King. Burger King. See, same thing. There's, Bird, it's Bird, something when unique. The King got their whoppers cooking. Yeah. When Burger King got their whoppers cooking. That's when you go to Burger King. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think that's know. how a dog nose is for any kind of itty bitty morsel on the ground. Well, 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 with her, what had happened was she showed up in Orland, which is a couple of towns away from my mom's house, and somebody, somebody spotted them in the tree line out in their field. And they brought a bowl of dog food out, put it out there. Kind they, they as soon as they went in the house, she went straight to it and ate it. Because she was and, hungry. And then after she ate it, she went up to their door and sat on sat sat at the door looking at the doorknob. Yeah, because she was cold. Yeah. She was down to twenty nine pounds. You could feel every bone in her body. Jeez. Luckily, luckily, she found her way home, man. Yeah, but you figure we had two blizzards that, well, she was out in, and ice, two ice storms. She was out in some bad fucking weather. And she's a lot. She's a keeper. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you'll never have to put a leash on her ever again. You want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> really? After going through all of that? Oh, yeah. She still needs a leash. Dogs yeah. might be smart, but they're not smart everywhere. <laughs> it is, it is, it is, she's not really. She's not. She's not in any shape to run. She can barely freaking walk. But she's oh, so you could chase. You could chase her down. You, you no, can, she probably, decides to take off. You can catch her. No, I've been smoking for way too many years to be able to catch her. Uh, she, I, think, I think I'm pretty confident that if a dog takes off, I think. It might take me a while, but eventually I'll catch up to it. She's Husky Wolf Springer. You ain't going to catch up to her. <laughs> she's she's going to outlast your wind by miles. <laughs> She'll pick up a good steady trot and off she goes. <laughs> well, it's funny <laughs> steady when, trot. It's funny when, she, when she's getting ready to take off. Usually, if I go outside with her and she sees me, I can get her to come right back and not take off. Every once in a while, she'll get over to where the trail is. And cut I got a great back. question. Have you ever out? Have you ever tried to outrun a pit bull? He ain't gonna try. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. What I do? What I Dude, do? Dude, my pit. Oh my god! Very simple. What you do with a pit bull? Shoot it. Uh, <laughs> you better. When, you, when, when a pit bull comes charging at you, at first you present yourself as a non-threatening. Uh, <laughs> like, all right, yeah, so I'm gonna be right. your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should tell that to my 82-year-old little old lady neighbor who comes over here. <laughs> the pit bull still charges you, then it's game off, all and right. you fuck that fucking dog up, man. You fucking, you fucking do whatever you can to fucking show that you're the alpha male or the alpha dog, and dude, you straight up, you punch it in the fucking snout. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking, you, cause you're going for a war. Yeah, you're gonna be bit in the arm doing that for sure. Let him bite me in the arm. I got my other, arm, I got my other arm to fucking right. jab its fucking eye out of its fucking sock. Whenever you're, whenever you're in a, a life and death situation, the first thing you do is you go after the eyes. So the dog bites you in the arm, and it's like, ow, that really hurts. Well, then you grab your thumb and jam your your thumb right into the fucking okay, that eyes. Might do it. That might do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, it'll definitely do it when you got the oozing eyeball coming. Yeah, coming but if a pit bull's got it, some jaw locked, you ain't gonna break it off doing that. Well, I just know that pit. You know, well, I just know the that stigma of the pits bad. don't really feel pain when they're in that mode. No, they don't. 
So yep. that's no that's way, totally you know, no way you're gonna, can't fight what no way you're gonna start I've never speech. seen it. I'm not an expert. I do not know, but from what I've been told from the fighting industry is pits don't stop until they die. Nope, they don't. Or until they can't see anymore. It doesn't matter, they'll still fight on instinct. Well, it all depends. Well, if if they already up. have a bite on you and you poke them in the eye and they don't let go, then they still have a bite on you. And which, they won't go. They'd still have the other eye because you're other oh unless you're oh, unless you're coming poking? around like doing it like this, I'm maybe. Poking but. in the eye? No, I'm talking about gouging the eye out. Right, but I mean, with, uh, we're we're, we're, we're saying that you have one hand already being bitten. I'm asking, how do we do that with one hand while the other hand is being torn off? Dude, really? And like I said, the only way you're going to stop a pit bull like that is to shoot it. Yeah, you better not miss. Nope. That's why I have a pit. You know, See, we live in a pit. very ghetto neighborhood. I have ghetto on either side of me, and we walk around the neighborhood, and we've never been fucked with too bad, right? Here and there, some homeless people, whatever. But uh, no gangs, and there are plenty of gangs have ever fucked with us. And I can only think. It's, you know, well, that couple has a pit. <laughs> we ain't fucking with them, you know? Besides that boy. <laughs> All right. Tactical Nug says, Pitbull's jaws do not lock, but they keep going and keep fighting. They have yeah. the second strongest bite of all dogs, I believe. Right behind the German Shepherd. Which is why the police... Usually go with German shepherds, <laughs> but pit bulls well, have a bad rap. My white dog Angel, her daddy was a shepherd hound mix, and her mother's princess here was a husky wolf Springer mix. Her mother was ninety-seven percent wolf. Hmm. Same with Brutus's mother. And you couldn't ask for gentler dogs. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. I want friendly dogs. I like. Yeah. That's why I like border collies. Border collies. <laughs> Dude, brother, if, if your dog. family, if your family, she is the sweetest, most lovable, most loyal dog you'll ever so fucking know. Lassie. How do you yeah. not like Lassie? Oh, I love Lassie. I've had collies growing up. I've had collies. I ain't afraid of no fucking collie. If I, if I'm breaking into somebody's house, am I gonna be more afraid of Lassie, who's gonna have to go run tell Timmy, or am I gonna be more scared of Cujo, who's about to bite my fucking face off? I'd rather have Lassie. I'd so you you're trying to life. new yeah okay. So because instead Lassie, of the Lassie. Violence is only is the last resort, mm. and I can tell you right now, a collie, if it comes down to like straight up one on one violence, a, a collie will hold. Dude, collies used to fucking like fight wolves and shit, coyotes and fucking shit. All right. Collies, border collies, border collies are the ones that guarded the sheep. No, the they're great dogs for sure. It all depends on your situation, though, too. I'm talking more of an urban environment where you might be more rural, you know. But I'm in the hood. <laughs> if I was going to get a guard dog, there's only one guard dog that I would ever get. Yeah, Min Pen. And that's a, and that's a Rottweiler. Rottweilers <laughs> are the best fuck guard dogs because they're friendly then you know they chill, they chill dog. Especially if you get them high on weed, they chill dog. <laughs> but no, some of them are friendly. They can they could be like in a second they'll be like a, attack mode. Yeah. I've got a friend of mine that had three. Hey. His female, she was a bitch from hell. Yeah, you don't want a female. <laughs> her, her her father actually saved my ass <laughs> what one the day. Fuck with that? 
I, I stopped by. Jim was in the house and his dogs were outside. Well, me and Captain were buddies. And me and Normal were buddies. And in the house, Abby was fine. Outside, she come after me just as I got to the door. And if it wasn't for Captain, the, it, her father, she grabbed her right by the throat and just pinned her right on the porch. Jim opens the door and says, better get your ass in here. He goes, before she fucking bites you. He goes, she's being a little bitch. Mm -hmm. About a week later, she actually bit him and you don't that want a dog that, that bites you. That was the that oh, was the me? that was the end of her right there. Yeah, it'd be done. If a dog bit me, that dog is done. See the fuck, I'll fuck that dog up. I'll kill it myself. <laughs> he he the did. Dog bit me. Oh wait, we gotta ask the question: Why the dog bite you? What what were you doing? Because if I you're doing something bad, it then doesn't it doesn't matter. Doesn't it, matter. Well, no, it does because if if, if if somebody comes to my house and my dog bites them and they're fighting my dog, my dog is meant to lay down her life in defense, and I and I fully expect her to die. But by the time that they have done with her, I'm fully loaded with suppressed just, I, and I, ready I to just, go and know exactly where you are. The, all I did was knock on the front the door. Dog, Bites me, that dog is done. I'm and done with it. Fully expected. Fully Man. expected. But while you're worried about, oh, I just got attacked by a dog because I broke into this fucker's house, uh, I'm I now get, finishing I, I the job. Bit. No, I'm not talking about I that. didn't get bit. I'm just asking the situation of where the dog, why you got bit. Were you breaking into somebody's house? Were you just walking oh, down yeah. the street? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that's uh, uh, actually knocking on the phone. Oh, oh, I'm just like no a regular at all. Dog. And I got bit. The dog lost its life because some jerk ass kid was throwing smoke bombs at him. Yeah. That wasn't fair. It wasn't his fault. I didn't get bit, but it, his, yeah, his, 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 his mail rot while to save my ass from getting bit. It was a smoke bomb or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> If and a dog was, bit me, no, hell no. That dog would be like, you're going right to, like, if I don't kill you, you're going to the dog pound. I'm all set with you. You're going back to, you're going back to jail. <laughs> well, he said he couldn't figure out what gotten up her ass because he said she'd been be, being a bitch lately. Dog, the dog is supposed to be your protector. And then then about a week later. How is he protecting you if it's biting you? <laughs> oh, you're talking about your own dog biting you. See, now that's a whole different thing, yeah. About a week later, that dog turned on him and bit him. A lot of the times, the, the people that's who get bit by their own dog usually, usually are not the nicest people to that dog in the first place, you know? Uh, he uh, said something snapped in her. You don't know what the fuck happened. Because hmm. he said she turned into a bitch team. towards everybody. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... He reached down to pat her or something. She clamped right on him. Yeah, especially, especially if you don't bite anyone that feeds you. Like, I give yeah. the dog dog food. I take it for a walk. I fucking chill out with the dog. The dog sleeps in my bed. Right. Yeah, yeah, you got to run your family. You have to have a... Just like when you're getting a firearm, you get a safe one. You don't get a piece of shit that's not going to work because you want to have a safe one that's going to work. Yeah, you you want to have a dog that's going to protect your family. You don't want one that's going to attack it. Holy shit, that's really loud in my ears. Sorry about that. Well, that wasn't me. No, that was me. That was my phone. Shit. Very loud. I'm being beckoned here soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me a dog, but if I'm going to get me a dog, it's either going to be Lassie or it's <laughs> going to be a, Rot a Rottweiler. No, no men that. pin? Dude, men pins are adorable. A what? A miniature pincher? Uh, you know what a, a pincher I'm is? Gonna, I'm going to get a... A Doberman? A Doberman pincher? A do yeah, if I'm going to get a Doberman... I'm going to get a Doberman pincher. <laughs> the men pins are adorable, bro. And get this. 
A yappy dog will still alert you when your house is being broken into. I mean, it will be punted, obviously. You're not going to stop the burglar. But at least you'll get that forewarning with all the yappy. I want that one. There you go. That dog, that dog is chill. That's a dog that you sleep with, man. You take that dog to bed and you fucking wrap yourself <laughs> in and you go to bed with that dog. There, there's an uncle got boo. Little girl's laying under my chair. Princess is right there beside the chair and Cookie's running up the stairs to mama. <laughs> yeah, those are some chill dogs, man. I like that. Yeah. That's like a yeah. Those are chill dogs. Those dogs are just want. They know what, they know. They know who gives them food. They know, four, they, they, four, they, four out of five of them are right around me. Yeah, they're probably waiting for you to <laughs> fill the bowl up, man. Is their bowl full of food or? Is it empty? Well, we got one of those self feeders. All right, and it's still a third full. Well, guys, it's been fun, but I got to call it a night. I've been beckoned by my daughter, and I got to go, you know, spend time with her. So it's been a pleasure. All righty. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me over, man. No, man, anytime, bro. I'll do this again next week. So you're more than welcome to come back, and we'll all do it again. It'll be fun, man. I look forward to it. Word. All right. All right, take care, everyone. See you, Gerald. See you, Chowder or Mario. <laughs> Peace. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, thank you very much for being here, guys. Uh, I'm just going to wrap it up. Uh, great chat. Loved it. Thumbs it up. <laughs>